Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be playing Life is Strange episode 2. Out of time, I think it's called. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened last episode, honey. Max Caulfield reunited with Chloe Price. Chloe apparently is in debt, like $3,000 in debt because of Nathan Prescott. Oh, God. We found out that her stepdad is the security guard at Blackwell, so that's that's going to be interesting. And he's also been spying on a lot of students, specifically Kate Marsh. So we're going to figure out what happens now. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow my social media links down below. Without further ado, let's go into the video. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Oh. Away from me, no! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? <laughs> Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Yes. <laughs> it's at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I forgot about Warren. Hey, oh, oh yeah, he sure Max? did get beat up. Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Mm -hmm. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? <clears throat> Tell me the truth. That's an order. Says so that. Black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. All right, she's spilling all the tea. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the present, the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. <laughs> oh, time to wake up. You just think your ass up. Let's go. God. Like I said, always for you, no emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I will time this is not... Or I will... No, time is not on your side. Do get high in my room. On my way. You are either 40 minutes or else. So, okay. So, we gotta meet Chloe in 40 minutes. Even with all this crazy shit going on...
Like now. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. You sound like Juliet for a second. You old clown bitch. Always, always doing weird stuff. Can I go in here and punch her in the face real quick? Can I open the door? Fine, I won't disturb you. And I wasn't gonna bother you anyway. It will stink. You stink. You stink. Oh, look, there's Kate. In there's the sign. Y'all saw that? Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. What the hell was that? You good? Toilet paper. What happened? Oh, let's warn. Whatever her Alyssa, name is. Can you stand Alyssa. over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Who did that and why? You wow. missed. Now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why don't you talk like that? <laughs> Why is everything I do is a consequence? Why is there a boy in here? Who are you? Stomping Bigfoots. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Oh. I didn't think Kate was like this. What's Knocking on those bros. What's going Ew. on? Whatever they're watching must be hot watching stuff. This. Everybody's Brooke seen it like looking that. smarter than everybody. Not really, but okay. Go off, sis. Why well, everybody acting weird today? Can we speak to her? Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. Probably. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Back to the Future? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. <laughs> you and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful. You might make Brooke jealous. Yeah, I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. I don't care about Brooke. Can I take a shower? No, the bathroom is right there. Let's see what's wrong with her. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, what's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. Well, By the way, anyway. the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Oh, uh, that bitch. I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? She, why not? If, yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Yeah, it's take you a, a shower, because you stink. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. <clears throat> at least Dana knows how to use it. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Okay, she's taking pills. Can I use this? You're gonna get mad, right? Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. Ooh, not single. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Bring it to Blackwell bloodsuckers. I mean, what? Bring it, yeah, bring it Blackwell bloodsuckers. <laughs> like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Ooh, is she ready for the wear that? Okay, oh look, there's Samuel outside the window right there. What are you doing? Let me maybe get out of here and progress. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Well, she's the cheerleader. All right, so let's go find them showers. I'm assuming it's down here. Who keeps saying hi, hi? <laughs> Y'all hear that? Well, there's Kate. Hey, Kate. You good? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. 
Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. She going through it. All right, I'll take a shower then. Wait, hold on, wait. We ain't... I... Can you leave me outside, please? I don't want to... Oh, we're going to get demonetized for this. Oh, God. Don't look. Don't look. Where's the soap? You going to use soap? What's up, Kate? Ugh. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't <clears throat> me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. Oh! <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Oh, looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. <laughs> Sound like cool. Yuck. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. I don't care. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Oh. You gonna come out and start beating her up? I guess not. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Oh, no, she didn't. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> so lame. Like, <laughs> you can't make this up. They're just so <laughs> lame. I threw that toothpaste at her head. Did she, did she doing something? Hurry up, Max. Did you even use soap? I ain't see you use soap at all. And then you put the dirty clothes back on. What's going on? Let's go erase this. This is. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. No, nah, let's erase this first. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, mm -hmm. it's worth it. Of course. Consequences. Just trying to simply help somebody. Hello? Water? Oh? Sorry. I forgot. Do we I? You need to take a shower anyway. And who's in there anyway? I don't know. Let's go. Rachel is a whore. Oh, <laughs> this place is just keeps getting better. <laughs> There it is again. Hi, hi. Bye. Should I get dressed and just get out of here? What the hell? What happened in here? Oh, no fucking way. Nobody messes with me, this bitch. This is not why I came to Blackwell. Crappy and artist, I still filthy whore. this crap up. Oh. After I find oh my God. Kate's book. I thought she didn't have no pants on for a second. I was going to say. But who did this? Like, really? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Now, this is personal right here. Hold on. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. <sighs> really? Oh, Max, you got to do something about this, because I ain't gonna let this shit slide. Uh, I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. You know what I'm about to do again? Get dressed? Yeah, get dressed. Okay. Oh. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt oh, okay. and jeans. Good. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Yeah, but that's him. It's about you. Do I straighten this out, too? And nothing here. 
Okay. Is it in here? No book here. What about here? Oh my god. Of course she really? just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Now let's move this out the way first. Be gone, foul soft drink. Ugh, stop, Max. Please, stop. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Let's hurry up before something else happens. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. I can't erase that? As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, what's going on? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know you sleep. <laughs> of course, this is Nathan. It has to be Nathan. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. Why am I involved? But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Can I write some of my whole stuff? Be the change you wish to be. You would say something like that. Can I erase this? I'm just trying to help out as much as possible, but I'm trying my best not to get involved in a lot of stuff, but I can't help it. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. We get to go through people's stuff. Ooh, exciting. I get to be nosy. Oh. This is depressing. Okay. Let's go snooping through her stuff. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why is this cover up? Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? What happened? Like, what did you get yourself into, girl? Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Call us. Kate, your father and I had just received a, a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about, about you and some party video. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seems justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame onto you or our family. Well, damn. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Well, damn. No good relationship with her mother? All right. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. So something must have happened at this party to the point where she stopped doing a lot of things. She ain't got no roommate. Oh yeah, they, they, all don't, they all don't got roommates. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Mm-hmm. Postcard. Kate really has a doting father. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. Katie, you will always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. Okay, so she got a good relationship with her dad. That's good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Sure, I didn't either, but now you know. Oh, she got a rabbit. That is the cutest bunny oh, ever. Oh, a bunny. That's it, I rabbit. bet Kate is a good mommy. Take a picture of it. Sorry, Kate. Just taking stuff. Be a nosy. Hope it don't have consequences. No, that not is the cutest bunny not ever. That. I bet Kate is a good mom. I can't skip. I need to look at the poster. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I hope so. Another letter. Did we just be a nosy Ouch. today? She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil should have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. What is in this videotape? And have a Jezebel you released your harlot image before God's eye. I would pray with with my church for you, for your soul, to be saved from the earth eternal hellfire. Oh my god, I cannot read. <laughs> Katie Mar uh Auntie Marsh. I said Katie Marsh. Oh my god, what's going on? I just woke up. Auntie Marsh. Alright, so she ain't got a good relationship with her aunt either. What's this? Good lord. 
This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. The hell? Let me back away from you. What else have I looked at yet? I'm just Kate's being nosy. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. I guess that's what happens when you're depressed. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Mm, I don't know about all that. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. All right, my, um, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Hmm, that sounds nice. Oh, that one's crossed out. Proverbs 21, 15. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Oh. Let me cross that out. Let me leave that. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Oh yeah, she got siblings? Hmm. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. I guess you can finally speak to her. Wait, there's a photo right here. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. See, I'm assuming these are sisters or something. At least you got a good relationship with them too. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. I went through your stuff, Max, sorry. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because I, ha I hate bullies or I had no choice. I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? Why, do you party with them? Hmm. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about okay, the video yeah, she'll ask. maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Does it sound like you? That's awful. Why'd you go? Why'd you go? So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. You sure? Not enough to get wasted. Nope. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Oh, Did Lord. somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then oh. Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Here we go. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so <clears throat> white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Oh, Lord. She... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. Right, she was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Ooh. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. It's too late. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. I mean, you can erase the video, but it's still there. People can still save that stuff and screenshot it all the time. So, 
So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh. Oh, okay. Go to the police. Look for proof. I mean, if we show up to the police station right now and say that Nathan did that, we're we going to need proof. Because it's already bad enough we didn't have proof of him actually being in the girl's bathroom and with that gun. It's because there's no security cameras in the school. So, this time if we do look for proof, however, we might find something we can actually bring to the police station for relevancy to get him kicked out of Blackwell and locked up, whatever you want to call it. So, I feel like we should look for proof first, then go. So, we go, I'm going to choose B. I'm going to choose B. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Mm -hmm. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. Mm -hmm. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. I mean, no, there ain't nothing no, I can Kate. do about that. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Uh, there's nothing I can do. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Exactly. We need proof. We can't just go around accusing people and not have proof. You know what I mean? People go to jail getting accused of something they didn't do, they ain't got no proof. Even though we, Max Caulfield, seen what he's done to... Hold on. Speaking of Chloe. Max, food, two L's. Can you... See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, yeah, breakfast. No emoji. So yeah, speaking of Chloe. Yeah, we, we saw Chloe get shot. But nobody else did. There's no security cameras to back it up. So if I was to go and tell somebody that Nathan was in there, you saw how Principal Wells reacted when he when I told him. He didn't believe me either. What the hell hey, makes you think the police gonna believe me? Oh, hi, Max. You see the snow? You look distracted. Oh yeah, the snowstorm yesterday. Did you yesterday. see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Nope. I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. What's going on? So we're here to talk to Dana. Who else can we talk to? Anybody in here? Nobody in here. Why did I come in here? <laughs> Nobody in here. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm tired of hearing it. Let's go. I hope I talk to everybody. My phone keep going off. Let me make sure I turn this off. Did I turn it off? No. Okay, now I turned it off. I don't want that ringing while I'm recording. What happened out here? The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Oh yeah, we saw him outside the window. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Talking to the birds. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Animals? Let's talk about the snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Mm-hmm. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. 
What animals do you see in the forest? A doe? Yep, yep. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I'll talk later. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. So yeah, speaking of spirit animals, I don't, I don't know if this is like relevant, but I had took a, a sorting hat test one time from Harry Potter. Apparently I'm a Hufflepuff and I am, my patronus is a shark. That's pretty cool. Because at first it said that I was a Ravenclaw. But I took it again a few years a few years later, and it says I'm a Hufflepuff now, and my Patronus is a shark. So I'm thinking maybe a shark is my spirit animal. <laughs> I don't know. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. And yeah, also I heard that the guy who played Hagrid passed away too recently. Or I him. I feel like watching some Harry Potter today too. Release the Kraken! Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, you digging in the trash? Step back. Is it coming? I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Oh, okay. Let me step back. Look at them birds. Can we take a photo? Yeah. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I feel like them birds are finna come get me. Let me, let me hear up and leave. Anybody else out here? Oh, it's, look, it's clown number two. I forgot your name. Hi, Taylor. Oh, it's Why Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Oh, let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate's video, Victoria. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Oh? Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Mm. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. Oh, but whatever. We've had our talk. Hmm. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk about your mom? Okay. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hmm. And of course, talking to her has consequences. What'd that say? Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Well, damn. It's either about Victoria or Rachel. What's going on in this school? Hold on. This is Nathan's father. Oh, God. How did he get him my number? This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my, black my, my son will, meet, will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope, you're not, I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. How does everybody get my number? Oh lord, here he go. Can I can I leave? Max, it's over here. Ugh, what do you want? Warren, what are you doing here? Damn. Uh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Oh god. That was intense. Oh, I should say thank that you. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. What do you say? You're a real everyday hero. 
You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Hold on, wait a Even minute. Even then you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Why do you say it like that? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. The hell? I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Why does somebody in the studio say, yep, put that in. That sounds right. Kids, kids say that these days. Who, who said that? <laughs> like, the way he said it, just, I don't know. Don't get involved. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yeah, sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah, the, the less people I get involved, the better, because it's already bad enough that I'm involved. The last thing I want to do is get other people involved. Oh, Lord, look, look, look at him. Nathan over there arguing with somebody. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Uh oh. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. We need a break from this school. This is too much. Who's that? Is that Evan? Oh yeah, we going to the diner now? Meet up with Chloe? Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. What the hell? I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Why y'all talk so loud? She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off. I don't know. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Oh. Well, good luck. Thanks. I sure need it. Shit, I'm pretty sure Black will hire me. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. All right, good luck with that, sir. 
Oh. Running late, grab a booth for, grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Hmm? Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. Your own boat. Mm -hmm. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescott family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They probably would. Do you know them? They own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Oh. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Okay. There's the RV we saw earlier. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Is the dog on the other side? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that was creepy. You're just sitting there waiting for me. Will I get attacked? Nah, nah, let me go, let me go. I don't trust this. I'm not gonna get killed. <laughs> let me have to go in and find this booth so I can eat. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. There's that missing poster again. Ooh, who are you? Weird lady. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Okay. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay. I'm back away from you. I don't know about this. Who was back here? Kate Marsh, love you long time. Oh God, let me stop. Thank you, redneck poet. Arcadia Gay sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, look, a photo. Firewalk with, with me? I can't read that. Yeah, firewalk with me. Hmm. Gross. Rachel A. owes me a BJ. So does your, so does your mom. Oh, burn. <laughs> There's a lot of graffiti in here. Of course, it's a bathroom, but still. Flush before pissing on the floor. Okay. What's that number? Can I see a number on there? Uh, I aim to disbehave. Okay, let's get out of here. This ain't no booth. Mm -hmm. Do I have to speak to everybody? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Oh? Now let me mourn over my eggs. Well, damn. Look, Hello, police officer. Sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. I'm not. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Oh. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. Oh. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. Mm-hmm. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. That's not good. Told you. No big thing. Mm, we not gonna get involved. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her not really. <laughs> I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Mm, she can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. Oh? 
I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. He has a, he has a reputation. Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. Mm. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. You ain't gotta tell me twice. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. All right. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. All right. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Whoa. Over and out. Whoa. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is in eyesight, sir. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Well, you're rude. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? You aren't even staring at the window. Your back is turned, but okay. You go off, sir. Oh, look, it's Trevor and Justin. Do I gotta talk to Ed about it? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Dana's room? Yep, that was him. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. Oh? How did Justin react? I got him He's blazed. Right he was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, he's literally right there. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Oh. Shouldn't you taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's oh. room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Just feeling all your tea in front of him. He's standing right there. Let's sit down somewhere. Yeah, you already know that's Joyce, because they keep zooming in on her. So obvious. What's working in a diner like? Let's, let me know in the comments. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. Oh. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, to you. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Too. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Hmm. 
She has changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Ugh. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh. Oh, he cares oh. about Kate Marsh. David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner. You know. I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about, and she's not even in school anymore. Oh. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I want waffles, bacon, eggs, grits. That's it? That's all the options I get? Bacon omelet? Fine. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. All right. I wanted something else, but I guess not. That's the last time I'm taking anything from Chloe. I ain't taking nothing to blame. One bacon omelet for the young lady, stat. Nope. Nerd graffiti. Warren must. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Oh, not you cutting her off. <laughs> this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. Oh, no beer. <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Hmm. I'm hungry now. Damn. Why why I come here? Let's skip all that. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Who's that? Up like I guess that. I actually can now. I can hear your stomach but then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love oh. this. Thanks. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Oh. Mm. Speak, Speak of the, of the devil. devil. <laughs> Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Mm. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. Oh, she's 18. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Oh, call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> Only one. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Whoa. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Now what Let's you want. talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. How? This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. Oh, Lord. You X-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. I hope it's gonna be easy. Okay, Max. Impress me. <laughs> okay. Keys, chewing gum, I don't know. We're just gonna say keys for now, because that's pretty Your much car what she got. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Skull keychain, bullet keychain, razor blade keychain. 
Damn. Uh, I'm just gonna say skull. I don't know. Uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Man, how the hell am I supposed to know what's in that girl's pocket? You shouldn't have said anything, Max. <laughs> that was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Oh. Let's look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, a panda keychain. How many cigarettes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. She got money. That's all she got? Let's count. I'm pretty sure you're going to make me want to count. So, okay. Uh, six. Okay. Parking ticket. I hope you remember the name of the person who gave it to me or something. Don't park in this area again, Parko. Am I supposed to remember the name? Um, out of Parking Bay. 10.34 a.m. The date. Okay. Let's just rewind all this. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Oh, what was that? Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. We're gonna start with the parking ticket, because I'm not sure. A parking ticket. You know me well. <laughs> but what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, oh, I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I looked. It was 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. What does that mean, anyway? Keys? Your car keys. Duh! Way too... It was a panda, right? Panda keychain, yep. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes. It was seven, right? Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? It was seven, right? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that okay, allows cool, okay, you to okay, count cool. cigarettes. Good, good, good. Cool. I was scared, <laughs> I was scared. Something else in my pockets? And left but not least, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Was it 86 cents? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Okay, good. Yes, I got it. I thought I had to rewind, I was scared. I don't remember that parking ticket. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. Mm-hmm. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I don't want to. <laughs> I will predict the future. Oh. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Hello. Oops. Did oh. you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Yeah. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Eh, uh, that's it. A lot just happened. What else? Oh! That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. All right. Well, a lot of stuff that just happened in a few seconds. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 four? seconds or so. Uh, damn. Shoko drops its mug, drops her plate. 
Uh, was it him? Was it that? The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Alert on the cop's radio, and he leaves. He answers. He's about to eat a donut. His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them up. <laughs> Joyce doesn't care. Joyce encourages it, and she stops them, of course. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. The girls were fighting. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And the juke bo- jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. A fly lands on it, a butterfly. What? When did... I know it went off, but I don't know what caused it. I know the trucker didn't get up and do it. Since it's a cockroach, the long, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that. I don't know. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Please, Laura, let it be happy. Please let it happen. <laughs> I do not want to go through this again. Hey, girl. Oh, okay. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Yes. And now I gotta take Good. this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. Oh. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take the <laughs> fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. Oh, it was a room. Would you get a cockroach on the jukebox? Of course. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, what? and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. For real. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Girl, I don't yes, you. that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Whoa. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. All right, let's go. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Let's go. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Oh. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. No, we Come don't. on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big what? You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? What? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Didn't she say last ep- last episode that she was cool and she I'm actually calling her a bitch? That's that's crazy. I'm finna call Kate. It's like she's going through it. Hey Kate. You can you be What's all right. Up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? Be quiet, Chloe. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Ugh. I don't want to go with you now. Yeah. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Meh. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Nope. Let's it's go. not like I won't see her in class later. Chloe will be all right. Who are you? Oh, shit, we couldn't be followed. <laughs> I'm scared. This episode is getting crazier and crazier. How long have I been recording? Hmm, not too long. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized. 
We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Oh lord. You finna get jumped out here, I can tell. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kinda over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Why'd you bring it? Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Anybody who says gun is a toy, Drink? stay the hell away from them. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Ugh. Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. We're gonna die. I just know it. Alright. Bottles. I gotta find five of them too. A lot of junk out here. How the hell are we gonna find a bottle? Oh, speaking of bottles, they're going right there. Stupid bottle. God, jeez. God, why? Can I use some? Yeah. Was that an option earlier? I climb up. Thank you. Hello, bottle number one. Four right. more to go. Yeah, four more to go. Hmm. If I were a bottle, where would I be? Let's look for bottles. Hmm. Oh, there's one right there. Boom, only three bottles left. Damn, that's a lot. Any over here? Hello. What now? What you want, Warren? We're going, we are so going ape. Hold on. Said we are so going ape. Newburgh in 60 miles, so we should, should leave around five, I drive. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we could have a dinner first or whatever. Anyway, go eight. Too late. Ha! <laughs> whatever. Wow, sir. Oh! That looks exactly like the same doe from my tornado vision. Why my camera turned around like that? I got scared. <laughs> I thought somebody was behind me. That doe is the perfect photo op. Mm, take a picture of it. Why I look hollow like that? You can see right through it. Uh, where you going? Oh, we're well, going off a cliff. This is scary. Any bottles over here? Any bottles? Hello. Nope. Piece of clothing. Whoa. This was an old school punk shirt. Alright, let's go look for them bottles. Ain't nothing over here. Bottle. A green bottle. It ain't gonna get ran over, am I? I hope not. Is that a green bottle? I'm scared. Something's gonna get me. Oh, look! Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haze. Man, that thing loud as hell. I'm sure this is a popular party. Hey, what the hell? What happened? When did that happen? I'm scared. Can I get in? How many trains gonna pass by? This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. And there's a bottle. 
one more bottle to go. La la land this way. <laughs> Ouch. What, Joyce? I mean, Kate. Hold on, no problem. That guy's an asshole. Okay, we'll read that yesterday. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking you for advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Okay, this is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering all my calls this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. <sighs> we tried. We trying. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. She's not going to get mad, is now she? Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Oh. I bet Koi going to get mad. I can already tell. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Uh oh. Something must have happened at that party then. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Whoa. Who wrote this? This is, this is getting dark. This is getting deep. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Probably. I'm just going through everybody's stuff. I stuck. can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Who photos? They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Well, it's never too late. You can always just... Recreate memories. That kind of hurts. Oh. Hmm. Oh, look. <laughs> Is that it? Rachel. Oh, Rachel won it. Is that everything? Okay, we got the bottle. So that's good. Just got to find one more. I bet that could be the last thing. It's going to probably be hard to find that. Bottle, hello. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Is it up there or something? Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Oh, yep. Might be. Let's go check. Is there a bottle? Yep, I see it. Please don't die. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. All right. Yep, that's all of them. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Oh. I can't jump down. Hmm. Football. The Bigfoots were here. Car wreck. A lot of cars out here. Of course, it's a junkyard. I right, gotta get this to Chloe so you can help her get out of here. Some this is spooky. Where's she at? She has one right there in her hand. Thanks, Max. One more for the road. I hope they ain't the one you found in the ground I'm over there. I'm serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Ugh. Max, you have to help me aim. Of course. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Yeah. Oh! Okay, aim to the right. Show me the way, Max. To the right? Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh! Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? That was a little Duh. loud. That was so fucking cool! Now for the second bottle. I mean, you're now, pretty much Max, on track. Where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Up, go up. 
All right, we gotta go. We gotta aim up this time. Oops. Where do I aim? Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Oh. Watch out, Nathan. Oh. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. Like I what? Get We're gonna die. Uh, Give me something to shoot, Max. What about that? Hello, what should I shoot? I have that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Ooh. Yawn. You better be glad that thing that ricocheted and shoot you or me. I must rid the world of those bottles. What now? I should rewind and help Chloe hit those bottles. Shoot, Max. Eh. That? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. You want to shoot something cool? Like, lame. Oh. Oh. What about that? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Ooh. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more oh, uber cool trick we shot. Die. How about using that junker for a target now? Shoot the dude. I need a target before I shoot. That put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <gasps> Jesus, I shot myself. Ugh, I shot myself. Back up, back Stupid up. Stupid gun. Hold on, Chloe. Oh, see, this is what happened with Mr. Guns now, honey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, let's go back. I didn't know if you were moving or not. I was like, ooh. Uh, Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Oh, the windshield? I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. A squirrel. Nice. You guys better run for cover. Yet the bottle remains. What the hell you want me to do? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. The wheel? I'm aiming for the left tire. Adios, spinning wheel of death. Um. Oh, well, damn. Uber cool. Okay. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. No, thanks. I don't know. You good? Max, your nose. Uh oh. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh. Not again. I ain't feel a bit to the lighthouse, am I? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> now I wasn't about to do that. been out you freaked me out there do you feel any better now a little thanks for helping me just give me a minute too much action for arcadia maybe not enough this is kind of fun scary and stupid but fun let me know when you feel okay god this power really messes with my head Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Take a picture? I guess not. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. 
I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh! Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Oh, shit. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. We're gonna get in trouble. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't oh? you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Hey, you gonna back up? Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm Ooh. yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. Uh -uh. You want me to cut you, bitch? Oh, Lord, what? Please. Oh. Please step back. Shit. You're kidding. Put that down. Shoot or don't shoot. I don't know. I mean, he pulled a knife out on us. We gotta defend ourselves. Oh. That is hilarious. Oh, man. Really? I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll <laughs> wish I had no memory because I never forget. <laughs> yeah, you sound so intimidating. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Why are you following us anyway? Oh yeah, you see here at the gunshots, but still though. You were following Sorry. us before all that. You are oh. awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. You're just getting in trouble so much. At least much Frank today. is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Yep. Just keep getting involved in stuff that ain't got nothing to do with us. Wow. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Mm-hmm. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. Oh? You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. <laughs> Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. What was that? Little birds again. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. Mm -hmm. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Them birds are now, over. tell me too exactly much. what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Oh. Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Oh. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's oh. it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? She probably gave it to him. I mean, she probably gave it to him. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all this. I need a mental enema. 
Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I? Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. Oh, I wouldn't finish. She was spinning facts. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. <sighs> I'm say, why are you leaving? I'm taking pictures. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ugh. Oh! Your shoe off? Unzip it and take your foot out? <gasps> What's that noise? Oh, the train. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We gotta go. Where's the thing? Is it down there? How you stop this thing? Yeah, the fuse. Maybe I can open this fuse box. Yeah. Awesome. It's not locked. Okay, good. We're gonna need scissors. I better find a tool to cut those bars. Oh, bombs. God. Please, get me out of here! I'm trying. Open, open, open. Shit, I can't budget at all. I can't throw something at it? Why can't I move? Wrong. That train is coming. <laughs> what can I take? Take, take. I can definitely use this bad boy. Oh, she's about to get killed. Okay, can I open the door with this? Get me out of here. Oh, crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Skip, skip, skip. I need... What the hell? Take, take, take. Oh, okay, oh, what can I slice with this? The damn... Oh, 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 oh the train coming! Okay. Come on. Take, take, take. Oh god. <laughs> Did he get Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. In and out, no problem. Oh, she kept getting killed. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nope, wrong way. Is it coming? A little bit. Isn't the best. Okay, okay, okay. But which wire to cut? Uh, yellow. Whoa. Oh. Short circuit city. Oh. Now you're getting a little too close. Oh, come on. All right, pliers. But which wire? Red wire. To cut? Max, get me out of here. Now that's the right cable. It's always the red one. Pull. Cool. Yes! I did it! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I was messing up! Okay. You saved me again! 
again. Crazy. Ooh. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. It really was. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. You better take my me back. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. Y'all oh, birds well. saw that? Y'all need help? Mm, birds just moving around. Home sweet home. And it's raining. Great. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. That wasn't boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Hmm. I doubt it. I don't see how. It's so friggin' random. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Oh? Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party <laughs> with your power, Rockstar. No thanks. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. All right. We didn't see this girl twice in one day. That's crazy. You better not screw this up. I don't think there's gonna be a third time where I'm gonna be able to save you. Let's go check on Kate, because I'm kind of concerned about her. By the way, if you're liking this so far, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, help out. Press that red button, it helps. <laughs> Thanks. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Are they getting ready for the party this October? So are Justin. you going to that Vortex Club party? Justin always Max, looks dumb. I have the sweetest outfit. And there he go. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Can we talk to Sir? him? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Talk to Nathan. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Yeah, have y'all checked on Kate? I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. <laughs> Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Oh, Lord, here we go. Trevor surveys his domain. Oh, not you bumping at me, you old stagnant bitch. Well, look, it's David. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Are you just gonna say yes? Just say yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate bad. What about Kate? What about Kate? 
You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? No. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I mean, I can kind of see where he's coming from. But I'm pretty sure he's probably just worried about all the students. Because didn't Kate say that something happened to her at the party? So maybe he's trying to investigate and figure out what happened to her. That can probably help and find what happened to Rachel. Know, maybe he's just, I don't know. I thought there's Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Nope. Mmm, I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. Oh. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. You don't look better do yourself. Do you even though, have okay. a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Oh. Girl, you don't look any better than me. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. Really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Mm, so I just... Was I invited? Eh, I ain't gonna bother you. I can't... You alright, Alyssa? Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Oh. Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Well, at least he's nice. I can't talk to them at all. I already talked to them. I already talked to them. What now? Warren, if you don't stop texting me, I got stuff to do. Damn. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Who are you? Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Hmm. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds Juliet me is laying the smack down on Zachary. So, where is Warren? Is he in here? Oh, look, it's Miss Grant. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Oh, look, there's Warren, and there's Brooke. Oh, lame ass. <laughs> Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Oh, I have Lord. to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Um... Potassium? I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but... Go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. No thanks. Weird science. So it now work? Big brain, think. Hey, War. Maxwell Silver Ham. Asking me for. All right, we get it. I have to add either. Loads of potassium. What? I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. This is a setup. Let's do this thing. Oh! She blinded me with science. 
Eh. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. This can't be that hard. I'm gonna just step away. And there's Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Experiment? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Hmm. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Hmm. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. What's that supposed to mean? You know, let me get out of here. Why not smack him somebody in the face? And I can't talk to Miss Grant. Let's just go ahead and go to class. What do you want from me? So you can't what? help me? Be honest. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. What the hell? What's going on? Why? You don't understand mine. Um, Nobody does. Nobody. Kate? Hello? You alright? Can we talk? Stop! Don't come near me! Oh, damn. I was just trying to help. Where are you going? Ain't class in the start? You don't see that happen? Principal Wells, you don't see that? Did you just go through the door like that? Girl, let me... <laughs> child, let me get out of here. What Evan doing? Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Okay, cool, let's go. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Oh. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? I didn't take a picture. <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. See? Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? Oh. She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing well, persons yes, posters pick. around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was private. Oh, God. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. Of course. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Oh, listen. Should I? Excuse me, Max. Everybody just spilling everybody's Hello? secrets today. Yes? Nothing secret. Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Hmm? Can I listen to it? Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Mm. Oh, it, I know. That makes sense. Oh, no. Seriously, I have to hang up now. Sounds like a 
Oh. Be beautiful, Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. I'm kind of doing do something now, Dana? Max. You look like ass. <laughs> What'd she say? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Oh, yeah. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. I made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Hey, Alyssa. You good? Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh. Look like a picture of you in a, you anyway. Contemplate that. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what Dana over there doing. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. And there's Taylor. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. What the hell? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Girl. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Nobody's seen it behind me, but okay. Can I sit at my table now? Get your funky asses off this damn table. Don't get cocky. This isn't over. Stink ass. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. I bet y'all stink like hot dog Assholes. water. They stink, yo. I don't even, even want to sit here no more. Y'all stink. Look at look at the residue y'all left on the table. Stink asses. Hmm. Oh, there's Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. It's so Damn weird. Y'all yeah, can go now. Look at him. Trapped in dirt. Look at look at that. Look at that. But they stink and all that. What you want? What up, Max? Hey Warren. <sighs> I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Oh. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and hey, so get out little here. time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> oh. She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. What's your problem? Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out. I all guess Kate will miss class Gosh. now. Usually, I'm more afraid about her. In class, oh. Max, put that away. Sorry. Yeah, who's that from anyway? <laughs> People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Not to put me on the spot like that. Wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girls' dorm! Oh, Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> everybody getting up. <laughs> Dismissed. Well, damn. You just gonna let them walk out like that? Oh, not bitch. Oh, Lord, what's going on? Oh, my bad. Wrong button. <gasps> no! Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh! She can't die. She can't. Uh-uh. We ain't finna do this today. Mm-mm. 
Uh uh, don't start acting up now. Not again. Uh uh. Not now. I have to try something. Uh uh. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Don't mess up with me now, rewind. Oh. Did I break the game? Look at look at look at Victoria over there taking pictures. What the hell? Nathan has. We stopped time. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Okay, I can move. I hope we ain't being timed, because I don't know how long I could be paused like this. Okay. Excuse me, coming through. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be an everyday hero right now. Excuse me. Oh, look, who is that, Madison? Mm, he trying to go up there. Okay, we gotta go all the way up the stairs or something? I hope not. We gotta go save Kate, y'all. We gotta do this. Oh, okay, good. We ain't got to go up all the stairs. You just be right here. Okay, good. Yes. You can't just stop time and just grab her and go back to the present? Oh, I guess not. Here we go. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Mm -hmm. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. Mm -hmm. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get better. You matter. Not just to me. Not just to me. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. I'm here for you. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. Mm -hmm. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? I'm gathering you evidence. You do nothing. I'm gathering proof, yep. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. Everybody will forget there's billions of videos. Be strong. She's, I'm pretty sure she tried to be strong, but that doesn't help. It keeps getting worse. Everybody will forget. Uh, obviously not. I mean, Victoria's over here putting the web link on windows and stuff. There are billions of videos, yeah, but still. It's like people like Ray Victoria will keep reminding people about the videos. So it's like, damn, what do I pick? Damn. Hmm, everybody will forget there are billions of videos. I don't know. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh, God, please, Max. 
You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about My heart's racing. You. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your mother clearly not. She don't have no brothers. Either her father or her sisters. I'm gonna say father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. No, he didn't. What was that? Yep, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I can't believe you quoted Ooh. one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. Grab that hand, girl. Grab it. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <sighs> Wait, so time didn't stand still. Everybody still down there? What? So David ain't up here yet? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. What Nathan doing in here? Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah. Real hero. Oh. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Now you're the principal. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Uh-oh. Nathan dosed her. Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. Clearly. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Can we see the video? Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. Oh. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. <laughs> Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss <laughs> Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but 
I think I can use my power again. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign the statement. Cause I really do think that David Madsen's low key on our side. He's just probably trying to figure out what happens in that vortex. Code. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. Do you? So thank you for coming in. He still got that stretch mark on his cheek. Y'all saw that? What a stressful day it's been. It's only been a day. And all this happened. Something evil is going on in Blackwell, y'all. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, oh. I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. Oh. So, what do you think is really happening? Some evil? What the hell is this? What's going on now? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Some evil going on. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. For real. Whew! That mark. Uh oh. Oh. Go to the lighthouse too. What's going on? Them. I have to train, I got some good music. Oh, there's Kate. She's okay. Hope she'll be okay. all about Chloe. <laughs> Where was she the whole time? Let's find out what's going on together. Okay. Again, Rachel, 
I don't recognize anybody else's name. But somebody keeping files on these high school girls. Oh shit. Kate. Oh lord. Who doing all this? The hell? Oh, that's it? Yep, episode two out of time. Well, guys, that was Life is Strange episode two out of time. I tell you, these episodes can be getting weird, weird each ep episode. Well, I'm just glad that I was able to save somebody this episode because Chloe getting them guns. I already knew it was going to be a setup when she brought that gun with her. I should have known that. And the fact that we got Frank on our ass now because apparently Chloe owed him money. So now we got to give him. That means he's going to be on our ass. So it's like, oh, what the hell are we going to do about that? And then we got to figure out what really happened at the Vortex Club party. I wonder if they're still going to have the Vortex Club party this time, considering everything that's been happening a lot lately. But like I said earlier, I think, I wonder if Frank, I mean, not Frank, if David is on our side low-key, but he's just doing it his own way. Because I think from what happened last Vortex Club party, after what happened to Kate, I'm pretty sure he's probably doing like his own investigation of what happened, since she was the only one that actually was affected by it, besides Chloe. I don't think he knows about Chloe, what happened to Chloe. That Nathan also did the same thing to her. I don't think he knows about that. Because if he did, I'm pretty sure he would freak out. But right now, I think he only knows about Rachel and Kate. Yeah. So I think he, I'm pretty sure he's on his own investigation trying to figure out what that happened. I don't know why he's tailing her as if she's going to go somewhere. So I think he's probably just watching to see who, she, who she's in contact with. To see if like she's talking to anybody outside of school. I don't know. I don't know. It just don't make, make no sense to me. I don't know. But... I mean, this episode really did heal. I'm glad, I'm glad. However, I did investigate around to her room, Kate's room, because if I didn't, I wouldn't have known that scripture. I would have picked something else. And she probably would have been dead. This would have been a whole different episode. So I'm glad I snoop snooped around. I was nosy enough. I'm nosy as hell. <laughs> but I'm glad I figured out what happened and was able to save somebody. So hopefully next episode, we're going to see some positive stuff. But I highly doubt that, because we still on the lookout for Rachel, so... <sighs> we're just gonna see how that goes yeah guys that was episode 2 I think we should check out the results now yeah let's check out the results okay so episode out of time you told Kate to go to the police uh, you told Kate to wait for more proof yeah 64% 36% went and told the police the hell you answered Kate's call okay good 77% you tried to shoot Frank. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh, so this was oh, this was the tough one right here. You couldn't save Kate or you saved Kate's life. 45% didn't. 55, 55 did. Hmm. So who did y'all blame in the end? I blame Nathan. Hmm, I'm surprised. You watered the plant? Yep, I remember to do it this time. Because last time I didn't do it. <laughs> you helped Alyssa, of course. You erased the link, of course. 8%? Hmm. You were friendly with Taylor. Oh. So. So we didn't have to talk to her? We could have. Because I low-key really didn't see her until I actually started walking around in the front of the girl's door. I didn't see her under that tree. But I did. So I'm glad I did talk to her at least. You accepted Warren's invitation. Okay. You wrote a message. Oh yeah, the Max was here. You didn't tamper with the rail tracks. Huh. I didn't know you could do that. You gained entry to the Vortex Club party. Okay, cool. Okay, so I gained access. Good, I ain't got to sneak in. Ooh, that would have been too much work if I had to sneak in. You helped Warren. You didn't help Warren. I thought I did help Warren. He made it seem like I did. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Friend stat. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Whew. Oh, it's dark outside now, y'all. <laughs> it's going to be getting dark. You know what that means. But thank you all for watching. I can't wait to play Episode 3. Cause it's going to be getting dark. I'm scared. But thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media links down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.